previously covered a story involving two Los Angeles Police Department cops who ended up getting fired after they decided to ignore an active robbery just so they can continue playing Pokemon Go on the job. Now, Vice recently obtained the transcripts of the officer's dialogue as they played the game. And it's as ridiculous and somewhat hilarious as you would expect. This incident took place on April 15th of 2017. And here's what we know about it. So Sergeant Jose Gomez radioed officers Luis Lozano and Eric Mitchell for help with a robbery in progress. Gomez didn't hear back from them. The next day, Gomez pulled the video footage from their squad car. He discovered that the pair were parked literally across the street from the alleged crime. So they're in the vicinity, they're very close to where this alleged robbery is taking place. It would have taken minimal effort for them to simply do their jobs, but they refused to do so because they were busy, everyone. They were playing Pokemon Go and they gotta catch them all. And so what ended up happening? What did the transcript say? Well, dispatch searched out, or sorry, Dispatch reached out to the officers and asked for their help directly. They ignored it. Should we ask if there is a message, Lozano said. Maybe they want us to go over there and help out. It's up to you, senior, Mitchell said. Ah, screw it, Lozano said. So basically, like, I don't know, should we like look into this? Maybe they need our help. Ah, screw it. It continues. So uh, they began this quest to catch them all. Um, and uh, here's how that went down. Mitchell said, Snorlax just po- uh, popped up. Lozano, Lemert doesn't go all the way to 46H, does it? I, I haven't played this game, so I don't know what any of this means, but it sounds fun, I guess. Or, you know, what could I do? I'll go down to 11th, swing up Crenshaw, that way I can get to it. By the way, they're not talking about getting to the scene of the robbery. They're talking about getting to a Pokemon that they're trying to catch, okay? It continues. If this light changes, you could take 11th to 46 and then make a right on 46. If it's up at Cavalry Chapel, Christian Cavalry Chapel, remember we were there earlier? You went to go check the church, that's exactly where it's at. We got four minutes, then after that, Togetic just popped up. So that's another Pokemon that they wanna get. And apologies if I'm mispronouncing some of these names incorrectly. So for those in the audience who might not be familiar, myself included, with the game, here's what Snorlax looks like. There's Snorlax, very cute and cuddly, I would wanna catch it. Not if I'm a cop, I'd rather do my job and you know respond to an armed robbery. But that's not what happened with these two cops. And then we also have the other, this is Togetic. That's the other one that they were trying to catch. Um, so lots of fun. Anyway, uh, we're currently dealing with a crime wave, and it is concerning that we have police departments, not just here in Los Angeles, but across the country, that are full of cops that are either so terrified that they immediately shoot as soon as they feel like there might be a threat, uh, thus killing a lot of unarmed people across the country. But more importantly, like these people do not, like these two especially, clearly don't take their job seriously. When responding to a robbery would have taken minimal effort, but they couldn't be bothered with it. They were too busy playing a game. Now they were both fired, luckily, and they were both so incompetent that they had no real, they had, they didn't realize that they were being recorded in their own squad car. But how many cops refuse to respond to the scene of a crime? when they're asked for help? That's the real question here. Yeah, um, this reminds me of the Democrats. I mean, you're gonna say, <laughs> wait, come on, Jane, right? And I'll tell you why, um, because <clears throat> it turns out they these cops can catch things if they want to. It's just they wanted to catch the Pokemon and they didn't wanna catch the robber. Like the Democrats, you know, they uh, could apparently fight really hard. You just have to put them up against the progressive in a primary. But when against the Republicans, they're like, I, I don't know how to fight them. I, <laughs> fight, what what name so? Um, so, but to be fair to the cops, uh, Snorlax is a hell of a beast. It mm. weighs in at over a thousand pounds <clears throat> compared to the gobbledygook, the other one that weighs in at just uh, 7.1 pounds. Uh, and 
Snorlax also has abilities, immunity, hey, just like the cops. And the other ability is listed as thick fat. Mm, mm. Interesting, okay. That is apparently not offensive in the Pokemon world. He's <laughs> thick fat, that's his ability. But if he doesn't eat 880 pounds of food every day, he will instantly go to sleep, which makes it a little bit easier on the cops to catch him, to be fair. Um, so, uh, look, my guess is if it was a random call called in by one of you guys, a normal citizen, and they wanted to go catch donuts, they would not have gotten in any trouble at all. The reason why they got in trouble here is one, it was a fellow cop asking for backup <clears throat> and they decided to ignore it. That makes it worse, of course, uh, and something that other cops might care about. Uh, and number two, it was just a funny, absurd story about how they were trying to catch Pokemon. Otherwise, cops don't respond to a million calls. They think working is optional. Uh, so, you know, uh, after the 2020, um, you know, protest and then some of the riots, etc., the cops decided they were going to protest by uh, not doing their jobs. Can you do that at your job? No, yeah. I, I don't. I don't like Burger King policies. I'm not going to flip to burgers anymore. Yeah, well, it lasts approximately three and a half minutes, right? But the cops, uh, well, you know, give them credit on this one. They have great unions, and you can't ever fire them unless they screwed over another cop. Exactly, and that's that's really the reason why uh, they ended up getting fired pretty swiftly. Um, I should also note that they ended up speeding. Again, not to the scene of the alleged crime. They were speeding on the road to get to the Pokemon that they were trying to catch for this game. And this was also telling. One more exchange I want to read to you. So this is graphic seven. Mitchell said, holy crap, finally, the guys are going to be so jealous. And Lozano said, let's go back to 7-Eleven and sit there. There you okay. go. Okay, yeah. mean, that's cop no. 101 right there. Okay. That exchange, it, it, but okay, the guys are gonna be so jealous. I mean, that's where you tell. I mean, he's telling on other cops within the department yeah. who are much more concerned with playing this ridiculous game. I don't mean to, but you know, I don't mean to besmirch the Pokemon Go game. Okay, but seriously, like if you're, you've taken an oath to protect and serve and instead you're focusing on this game. And it's not just you, it's all the other guys within your department who apparently are gonna be so jealous that you managed to catch more Pokemon than they have. Yeah, well, it turns out uh, the, this Pokemon character is not the only thing that should be named Snorlax. Like <laughs> the, them going back to headquarters, going back to 7-Eleven. You're like, oh, let's meet up with all the other cops doing nothing at 7 Eleven. Did any of those cops get fired? Nope. Did all the other cops playing Pokemon Go get fired? Nope. Okay. No, only these guys because they didn't respond to a fellow officer. That's the only thing that could possibly get you in trouble. We've reported on cops getting fired before. It's because they stole from other cops. It's like it's the same pattern every single time. But if you're not doing that, you you can get away with anything. You could you could have been playing Pokemon Go from that moment to this moment, and you wouldn't get fired as a cop. Okay. And by the way, what do you think they're all doing? They're all still at that same 7-Eleven. Okay. <laughs> and nobody's doing any goddamn thing about that. So that's the reality of policing in America. Uh, but they are doing tours nonstop around Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is going to be okay. The rest of you, good luck. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.